Hey guys, it's Kali. I'm going to be doing a review of Easy Cosplay today since I have ordered them. Uh, I have ordered from them quite a few times and I have quite a bit to say. So anyways, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so I'll begin with some of the positives. So, uh, first positive is that they do have every single cosplay you could come up with, or at least that I could come up with. <laughs> so they have a lot of costumes, and if they don't have the costume, you can literally just, like, request it. Like, they'll make props, and also they'll, like, custom size costumes, and they, they have everything. They have the custom sizing, they have the costumes, and yeah, they're, they've, got, they've got it all, and that, that's the positive. So let's get to the negative. <laughs> so I've ordered from them four times. I have the costumes around me right now, except for one of them. And I'll go through that in a second. So um, I'm gonna go over some negatives and then I'll talk about this, my own experience with them and how terrible it was. So starting off, first negative. <laughs> first negative is uh, the cosplays are usually wrong. Um, I'll explain this later, but every cosplay I've gotten pretty much from them has been the wrong color or just wrong detailing or wrong length, like completely wrong, just inaccurate. And there's some inaccuracies that you can fix, but there's a lot of them that you can't fix because those details, once they're there, they're there. There's at least with my skills, my skill set. Um, I'm, I can change the sizing, but like only so much, you know what I mean? So there's that problem. So then the next up negative is pricing. It, they are way overpriced. They have the quality of a $50 costume and they'll sell it for $150. It is just simply like the materials and everything feel cheap. They are not nice materials typically, but uh, that's why I don't see pricing as a positive thing about them. Pricing is horrible and, and just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for it. They're very poorly priced fixing my lighting. All right. So the next up, next up, I would say that, uh, shipping time, it takes a very long time for most of the cosplays I've ordered for them have taken three to five months. And that is a long time in my opinion, because I could order something right now that's two months away and it would probably come earlier even from several other cosplay manufacturers. So I would say the shipping time is pretty awful. And then I'd say their customer service is not where it's at necessarily. Um, I have worked with their customer service and they respond to me the majority of the time and try to help, but are also completely unhelpful at the same time. Um, I will go into that. And uh, that's pretty much the summary of the negative things about them. Anyways, I'll explain why I feel this way about them and what happened to me. And I will try to include as many photos as possible, but there are a lot of photos I've deleted because I felt very strongly about disliking these costumes and such and I just ended up like you know not uh not keeping them while I should have for the reviews so my own story with easy cosplay is I started off ordering this uh which is a very simple pink dress uh, uh they didn't have any cosplays out for this anime yet in most costume companies and easy cosplay who has everything just had a photo of the character it came within a, like two months and i was really excited to wear it and i had it and it was great and um everyone really loved it and it turned out really well because it was there's very little detail on it so then uh like a year later i was in the position once again where i didn't have um anywhere that I could think of that would have these costumes. None of these anime were popular, but I really wanted to cosplay these characters. So I, uh, I went back to easy cosplay. <laughs> and um, these are the costumes, kind of, sort of. A lot of these pieces are in the washer, whatever. So here's one. And here's the other. I'll show you guys photos to kind of show what I mean. But, uh... <laughs> They were both, so I ordered them both to my size. I have never used their custom sizing, uh, just a heads up, so I don't have anything to say about that. But uh, if any of you do in the reviews and comments, like, go for it. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Um, so basically, I ordered a small, which was to my exact measurements. Um, the small would have fit me precisely. And every single measurement, I kid you not, was at least an inch too big. Like, the waist, had to have been like a 30. 
There's no way that was a 27. The hips had to have been like a 40. It was just, it was just massive. All these cosplays were like massive on me. And it was, I couldn't size them down anymore. I sized them down as much as I physically could, but I didn't want to ruin the accuracy of the cosplay. Um, and then the accessories that came with these cosplays, every time I'd wear them, they would fall apart and I'd have to like basically remake them. Um, it was awful. Uh, so yeah, those were, those were not good costumes. Uh, and then I don't know what led me to do this after those two very horrible and overpriced costumes. Oh yes, not to mention the material, not that great. And, uh, they each cost like around $115. So not that great either. Um, and they took about three months. So I don't know what led me to do this, but I ordered my Mona cosplay from Genshin Impact from them. And uh, if you guys are familiar with Genshin Impact, the characters from Genshin Impact have some of the most detailed character design and it is absolutely stunning. I love Genshin Impact's character design. Um, and I was so let down! <laughs> so, it started, the, the saga of the Mona cosplay started with um, three months. I had no cosplay. It cost me almost $200 altogether because I ordered this in September when the game came out. Like, actually that would have been October, like a week after the game came out, I went to go order this. And they, they just had basically, the email said, don't quote me on this, but I, I'll see if I can find a screenshot of the email to share. But it literally just said, uh, basically we don't have your order, like we forgot your we forgot about your cosplay. Like, it's just not here, we never made it. Um, and I was sitting there like, ah, <laughs> oh no. So uh, they remade it and they sent me photos like a few weeks later uh, of the cosplay and it is light blue. Uh, Mona's costume is not light blue, like sky blue, really, really light blue. Um, and the details are a bit off too. Um, the details are like light purple and this cosplay is just not correct. And mind you, I'm not a snob with cosplays. Like I'm not somebody who's very picky about details or who will go to great extents to make certain details. I think it's very cool when a costume's a little unique in its own way, but this was far from that. This was just horrible. Um, and I tell them that is inaccurate. I do not, I do not want that. The photo is a completely different color that was on your guys's like reference for this cosplay. Um, it looks entirely different. Um, yeah, I, I don't want it basically. And just three weeks later, I got a notification that it shipped out. So they just kind of like ghosted me after that. After they'd responded to like literally every other message within a day, um, they stopped getting back to me. So then I, uh, I got the cosplay. And the cosplay, after after five months of all of this, the cosplay was terrible. Like like I said, it was in the photos. Um, it just, it wasn't any good. It was it was the wrong size entirely too. It, it could have fit a child. Like after everything had been so oversized for me, I bought one that would order, match my measurements too. And it, it was literally like fit for a child. It, it was way too small. Um, Mind you too, I'm not that large. <laughs> and um, that, was, that was pretty horrific. So I basically took a bunch of photos. Oh, also every detail was hot glued on. I have photos. So it was hot glued on, uh, all these little tiny gold details and uh, the materials were not good. Um, they felt really, really like, I don't know, just not quality compared to some of the other costumes I've worn. It was, it was a weird experience overall. <laughs> so I had a really horrible experience with Easy Cosplay um, after having a previously not so good experience. And the first time I ordered from them, I think it was just the simplicity of the first cosplay I ordered from them made me trust them a bit. But when I ordered something that was really complicated, um, it, it was terrible. So moral of this, I guess, if you're going to order from Easy Cosplay, you'll probably be okay with a very, very simple and inexpensive costume. But but if you do, if it is a really simple character, like if it's a character that just has like a very particular pattern skirt or something, I could see why you'd go there. 
and if you feel you could fix it up if it was really horrible and you just need some base structure to work with and it's inexpensive enough if you're comfortable knowing what I said and would still not mind ordering from them then that's you know you can go for it but I that's just blatantly honestly how I feel about them my opinion on easy cosplay um, it's a little bit more negative than <laughs> my mid costumes review was um, I really did I still enjoy working with mid costumes so yeah uh, that's it for this week and I hope you guys enjoyed please let me know what you think in the comments what are your experiences like with easy cosplay if you do have them or your thoughts on them What's your general opinion I love to hear from you guys so anyways have a lovely week I'll see you next week